Good afternoon, everybody. It is your favorite tuber Yeti man here. I'm out on the hunt. I took a few hours off of the day today with the plants to come hunt some more mushrooms. And I'm at a new spot at a really good friend of mine's property. I'm up the way. And we're on our first one. It can take me but about 10 minutes. Go. We're gonna meander through here. I just found this slope right here. I'm gonna zigzag through it real hard. Um, pretty cool. A nice little piss elm tree right here. Um, yeah, that's a good sign. Hopefully, we find a bunch more. Be right back. Okay, I, I spotted another one. I do apologize. For the wind, everybody. Oh, that's a pretty one. Good and fresh. Good and fresh. Right here. There you go. Look at that. Look it. You can see. It's probably already correlated. Chop it, put it into the bag. Be right back. Okay, about 10 feet over, there's another one standing there. So it looks like Yeti's gonna have him a good day. I might find so many, I might not be able to uh, video them all. That one's a little dry, but that's all right. So we're gonna take it home and throw it in some water. I'm actually going to take about half the ones I find today and put them on a, a necklace and dry them out in front of the window so that my son can have some when he comes home from college. All right, if we find any more, I'll let you know. Well, it's been about 20 minutes since I found the last one. Walk around the corner here, 60 feet maybe, and found this one. We got a, uh, we got five on the board so far. Let's keep looking. We're gonna work our way back through our to our backpack. Uh, take a little break for a minute. It is about 80 degrees today. Man, it's hot. We're gonna go off down in there. Bunch of elm trees. We got this whole other ridge to walk. I'm hoping I fill my sack up. If I don't, that's okay too. Cause we found some and that is all that matters. All right. We find a big old cluster or a bunch more, we'll get back on here. Good morning, everybody. It's Yeti Man here. I just wanted to give you an update. Um, this is the big cedar tree that we've been getting all our morels from. Now I found a few back up in here over by this other cedar. What I decided to do was take a risk. I mowed this. Okay, except I stopped about right there. I mowed this about three nights ago and I started putting the well water sprinkler on it. And I water this few hours and then I go over there and I water a few hours and I'm telling you there you go another one right over there big old black one and there's quite a few more down out around this edge three or four more up under this side and a whopper on the other side so and uh got a few today um, I just found this one on the main road walking back from the spot so we'll get in here and I'll show you these other ones real quick let me get this water moved okay I've moved the water hose like I was saying we got this one right here and then if I Moving just a little bit closer. We 
got another one there. And then there's a hole. Yeah, you can't really see them, can you? Little clump of them right there. And then we'll, let me walk back around here. It's really, um, I did this so that I could see them as they come up. Um, let's see, right. Let me get up in there. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, I see some more. I see some more. So yeah, they're these cedar trees are all soaking wet. Sorry everybody. These little dudes can be kind of hard to find. Be right back. Well, here's here's a few more. Here they are. I found them. They're all starting to come up in here. Looky there. Bunches of them. Nice. So it's working. We've had kind of a drought here. So to encourage the morels to flourish, I have been giving them water and it's been working. So there you go. Uh, there's another big one right back here. Just one second. Right back in there's one. But I gotta get out of here this morning. Good afternoon everybody. It's day four of putting the water to the spot that we prepared, the mode spot. Now last year I did put slurry all out in here. Um, and I did put slurry a little bit back here, morel slurry um, of my own creation back there. And it, and it seems to be working. Um, here's the, the, the one morel that we showed prior in the last clip. Getting a little bigger, that's for sure. Nice. So the water, your morel spot method is working. Here's the black one. It's now turned yellow because that's what they do. And then of course right here is another section. We'll get up out of this area. And we'll just kind of take a peek around over here. Oh yeah, oh man, goodness gracious. I'm seeing some fun guys, everybody. Here's some more morels. Let me see if I can't sneak in there real careful like. I sneak in here real careful like so as to not to damage them. There's those three, much bigger than the other day. Popping up, loving it. Here's these other three popping up, loving it. Burr, it's a little windy today. It's about 60 degrees. Not real prime morel weather. Not gonna put the water to them today. Gonna let the ground heat up. Um, but we're gonna, I'm gonna go right over there and we'll get some more pictures. So I'm, I'm back over by that other cedar tree, up underneath it, and uh, oh, I'm seeing more than two here. There's one right there, and then right back off over there, there's one. I'm going to have to go around this tree to get to those, but uh, those are much bigger than they were the other day. You can see them shining in the sunlight, right there, see them? Beautiful. Anyways, let's get around this tree and we'll go get them. Okay, way here on the back side. Let me get you down in here. We got this guy. He's hiding real good. His blackberries over here. Um, let me flip you around. Boy, that one is hiding good. I would have never have seen it. 
still won't be able to get to it. <laughs> Man, when they go to hide, and they hide good. There's another one right up in there somewhere. Maybe give it a step up in there and just take up the end there, huh? There, there's one. Right there. And there's another one. And I can't see it now. That's crazy. Maybe that is the one. Huh. Okay, well. Oh, here's one. Right here. <laughs> Little baby. Which means they're coming up pretty good right here where I've been sprinkling the water. That's awesome, y'all. Anyways, the only way that you can test something like this is to just do it. Oh, I see another one. There's another one. Right down in there in the light. Nice. So that's like 14 or 15 just in the last four days that weren't here that are here now. Um, pretty cool. I don't have words to describe how that makes me feel, but that makes me feel a little bit validated, I guess. That's the word you're searching for. A um, couple of things I want to say. When you get your morels, here's one right here. When you get your morels, go ahead and put them in some spring water, okay? Make sure it's spring water, not tap water. Distilled water, well water. And go back out to your spots like this. Now, look, I'm going to pan around. There's my house. You know, I'm fortunate I can come out here and do this. Not everybody can. Um, but if you're fortunate enough like me to be able to do this, then take that water that's left over before you cook your morels and spread it out here on the, on the ground. Put it in a spot where the morels are already growing, like over there and right here. And here's some babies right here. Okay, what that's going to do is it's going to it's going to encourage the mycelia to spread even harder. It could potentially double your yield se season after season. And what's the harm? No harm, no foul, right? So. It's just a thought. It's something I've been doing for 30 years. It works. Um, I've even packed out, you know, two gallons of water all the way to two miles to my spot. The red buds are blooming here too. Um, just to make sure that slurry gets put out there in the right spot next to the ash tree or elm tree or cedar tree or wherever it is you know morels come up, put your stuff back in that spot. Flick them and pick them, put them in your sack, put them in a mesh bag, take them home, soak them in water to purge them, make sure it's distilled water, spring water, or well water. Dump that water back out onto the ground in your spots. Another thing you can do is you can pick, like say we wanted to pick this one right here, everybody. Yeti, you take that home, sterilize a piece of pane glass, okay? That means either clean it very well, use alcohol, <clears throat> excuse me, um, take that morel, take that little morel, and put it on top of that glass, okay? Put that glass into a box and close the lid and put it in a closet for a day or two. Just let it sit in there and dry out. Anywhere from two to five days, you're going to go in there and that morel is going to sporulate and drop its print, a spore print, onto that glass. Then you can take a sterilized blade, scrape off the print, the mycelia, or the spore, add that to your substrate, your ash bore, or your ash tree bark, your elm tree bark, your sycamore bark, add your 100% organic maple syrup, your couple tablespoons of salt let that percolate for 24 hours 
then go dump that on your spots. You're increasing your yields year after year by doing just these few simple things. Look here. Look what I just found. I'm sitting here talking. And I haven't noticed this guy at all. Look at this. Just hang Okay, y'all. I'm out. Have a great rest of the week. Be nice. Be safe. Be kind. Be happy. Peace.